when technology really works, it scales at the human scale, right? Like it is like, you know, like great technologies, whether it's like all the way from fire to the internet, like when, when it's a great building block, um, the scale of those opportunities and the impact of those primitives oftentimes is way larger than what we think of at the beginning. Um, and so one thing that's surprised me multiple times is industries and markets that I've thought were completely played out or just game over. And we were just at the first inning. I mean, actually, like Google was was a great example. I mean, I, you know, um, I actually knew Larry and Sergey when they were at Stanford, um, you know, doing their PhDs. And I remember actually, like I knew the per what person who helped them write their original business plan uh, that they got their first uh, funding from, from Andy Bettelsheim. And I remember hanging out at a barbecue and, and, and being like, you know, Yahoo's so big, there's all these search engines, you know, search feels like it's just over. Like, you know, that game is already played out. Why would you go do search? There's probably so many more interesting dynamic things that are out there, but you know, search had not even really started at that time, right? And, uh, yeah. and, and I feel that happens like again and again, and it's happening even in social, right? Like it felt like, you know, social was over with Facebook and then, oh no, it's actually, there's Instagram and WhatsApp. And then, oh no, there's TikTok and Clubhouse. And like, it's, it's just interesting how these primitives and kind of components kind of, how, how, how much longevity and ongoing opportunity there is for innovation.